Hello Little Legends and welcome back to the Little Legends Passport Adventure Series. Getting out and about in nature is so much fun and it's also a great way to keep active and reduce our use of cars and pollution. Today we're heading out with our Little Legends to play Nature Spotter and take a walk along some of our beautiful coastal pathways to enjoy our wonderful environment. We'll be meeting up with our knowledge expert Matt who will also talk to us about why it's really important to appreciate what we spot in nature, but leave it as we find it, and why we need to stick to the pathways already made and not go making our own. All right, let's go Spoto. Oh, hello little legends and welcome to Adventure 5, getting out and about. Are we looking forward to a bit of a nature walk? Yeah. Yeah. So in our passport here, it tells us a little bit about not always wanting to get around in a car. Why do you think that might be? Because um, cars produce fossil fuels which are polluting our skies and air. Yeah, fossil fuels, no good for, for the environment, hey? So how else can we get out and about then? On a bike. Yeah. Walking. We could walk with, what do we walk with? Shoes. With our shoes and our feet. Should we go what for a bit of a nature thongs? walk? With thongs. Well, what about like, with feet? With feet, yeah. What about running? I'm glad that we've got our nice Not strong glass, boots on so we can go for a nature walk and our feet are nice and protected. And we're going to go see what we can spot out in nature. You ready for a walk? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, I know that looks fun, but it's actually not an official path, so we can't, I'm afraid, because it damages nature. So we'll head up this way, okay? And I've got someone to teach us a little bit more about why we can't head down paths like that. Let's go meet him. Hey Matt, we Hi. heard that you're a nature walk wizard, and Jenna just told us that we can't go down that path. Why is that? Well, um, you know the path that you just came on over here? It's built with not lots of steps. So it's got nice timber steps, it's easy to walk on. Uh, that's because we built that path to be nice and safe for everyone to walk on and to take care of the environment around it. If we just go into the bush making paths wherever we want, then that, those paths, they're not very safe. They don't get maintained. They get overgrown or they get washed away uh, and we can't look after them and we can't protect the plants around them. So when we have these nice paths, they let everyone access them safely and uh, we can get to where we need to go um, and enjoy the bush. Does that mean we can bring weeds with us? Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes uh, weeds stick to our shoes or the bottom of our pants and they can come in and we can spread them along these um, tracks if we just walk through the bush. We have teams of people that look after our official tracks so if we see any weeds we can get to them straight away. Hey Matt, one more question for you. Yep. I saw this cool blueberry, but is it safe to take it home? Well, they might look good, um, but the best thing is to leave fruit, flowers and parts of native plants, uh, leave them alone in the bush. Native animals really depend on a lot of the fruit and food that they find in the bush. Um, and also some uh, berries on native plants can be poisonous uh, to us. So um, you, that could be a danger of trying to take them home. But most of all, we just don't want to take food away for our native animals um, and leave them in the bush for everyone to enjoy. If you like, I can show you some other cool berries that we found in the bush. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so you asked about that blueberry before. That actually is very hard, so it's not a juicy berry that we can eat. So if you pick those off, it's, you can't use it. So it's better to leave them there. Uh, but we've got some other ones here. These are juicy berries, and this is a lily. Now, unfortunately, they don't taste good to us, but they taste really good to the birds. So we can enjoy them, look at how, um, how great that plant's doing, and we can leave them for the birds. How's that sound? Good. Gee, thanks Matt, that was awesome. I think we all learnt a bit more about how to take care of our area. Yeah, Matt. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, no problem. You guys did really well. And I've got another stamp um, for you to add to your collection and uh, so you can all be nature walk warriors. <laughs> 